Hey guys, LE here. Man, it's a really hot day today. It's about 95 outside. It's a shame, man, after a tropical storm beta, we had some really cool weather for, for a few days. It was about 75 with a nice breeze. I missed that weather. Now it's back to being blazing hot again, but uh, whatever. We know that in a few months, whenever it's winter, it'll probably be cool again. But in any case, today's video is not about the weather. Sorry that I'm getting distracted. Today's video is about this turkey right here who's trying to hide from me behind that post. Quit hiding, bro. You can't hide from me. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, yeah. Today's video is about this Dixie chick right here. For those of you who saw my dad's video a little earlier, you know that this may not even be a chick at all. Does that look like a female to you? Because I'm having serious doubts right now. That is a female. That right there, eh, not so much. These two turkeys are the same age. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. He or she is literally dwarfing this one. They're supposed to be the same age, but oh, I'm so tripped out right now. Anyways, um, this turkey has been showing a lot of very masculine features lately, and it's kind of confusing us all. Cornholio has been a lot more aggressive lately as well. I don't know if it's just because this one is starting to act more aggressive itself, or if it's because he has like a six, seven sense that this thing is actually a male and we haven't realized it the whole time. I'll go over the traits that it's, that it's displaying in a second, but first, I figured I would share with you guys a really weird story that I read. It's a thread I found on, uh, a, yeah, a thread I found online when we were researching, trying to figure out if this is actually a male or a female. So essentially there was a hunter, a guy used to hunt turkeys, and he saw a turkey out in the woods one day. It was bald, it had a very colorful face, its feathers were all puffed out, just like Cornholio, everything you would expect a male turkey to have. So. He didn't want to hunt a female turkey, only a male, so he went ahead and took the shot because he was certain that it was a dude. But then whenever he went over to inspect the body, the weirdest thing happened. In the one or two minutes that it took the guy to go over there and uh, get to the turkey, all the colors had seemingly went away. The feathers were no longer puffed out. And even weirder than that, this turkey did not have uh, spurs on the back of its leg. Um, I don't know if you can see, I don't think you can see it on Cornholio's feet, but um, male turkeys have spurs on the back of their, um, on the back of their feet, like a fifth little talon thingy. It's, it's an extension that comes up about halfway up the leg right here. Males have those and females don't have those. This turkey that he thought was a male didn't have those, which is a very feminine characteristic. And to top it all off, guess what he found inside of the turkey whenever he started doing an internal cleaning? Eggs. I swear to God, he literally found eggs inside of this, this thing that he thought was a tom or a male turkey. And so it left him very befuddled, very confused. It leaves me very confused also because it poses the question, was that thing a hermaphrodite? Meaning that it has both male and female uh, characteristics. Was it going undergoing some sort of a sex change where it transitions from male to female or vice versa? I don't know. Elijah, this guy, this girl, whatever it is, is doing so good. This is a great chance to get some close-ups of the features that we were looking at earlier. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can't tell. Jamie said she thinks there's a mohawk coming on this one, like what a female would have, but all I see is just color, colorful head with little brains, you know, like cornholio. Yeah. This looks like a male head to me. You can see the snoot. Really all turkeys small. have a snoot, so the snoot isn't actually a distinguishable trait. Yeah, it's however, like however, however, though, male turkeys, uh, their snoots are a lot longer, like cornholios, and a lot more girthy. And this one has the tiniest little snoot. Look, I can even touch it, and she'll, he'll let me. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't extend at all. This is about as long as it gets. Of course we can come I'm, I'm impressed with how calm that this little turkey's being, though. I'm really proud of him or her. We can also come look at the little feet down here there's no yeah okay this right here do you, can you see the bump good I'll, i can you see the bump yeah, right you here? can see the bump much better now so males all, males are the only turkeys that have spurs spurs are the, the little things on the back of the leg kind of like a what, how would you explain the, it? like a like a declaw on a dog like it'll be like they'll have their normal hand and then like in the back of the wrist there'll be another little thing yeah e exactly so female turkeys don't have a spur only males do and this one hasn't had anything like a spur up until, well, this point, until about today or yesterday, I can kind of feel like something's starting to form back here. Can you, could you see it really good? Yeah, you can, the, you can see it. Right here? here? Yeah, you can see it. That so I'm pretty cool. sure that's going to be a spur, and um, that's obviously a male characteristic, as I just said. 
the feathers. This thing has been puffing its feathers out for days, like um, like Cornholio always did. Mm -hmm. And Cornholio, he used to be like all calm and sweet. He's still calm and sweet to me, but he was actually relatively just chillax with everybody else. But now he's been aggressive. He's been mean ever since this turkey started kind of transitioning, if you want to call it that. The more that I brainstorm it out loud, the more that I realize it's probably a him. Yeah. So I'm gonna just call him a dude now, but. He's pretty calm, I'm pretty proud of him. He could easily peck me right now with that really pointy beak if he wanted to, right in the shoulder, but he doesn't want to. He, I think he trusts me, which is good. Let me just tell you what everyone was going on real fast. So, uh, I feel kind of bad for him actually, even though we don't really have a relationship. He's been here for a while, even though we thought it was a girl. He'll, he'll have a good home though. There's a bunch of feathered friends over there. I didn't realize I was gonna be so emotional. You're right, there are lots of feathered There's friends so over many there. There's so feathered friends at Paul Paul's house. He'll have his own family over there. All right, so people, <laughs> since since he's not fighting and stuff, folks, I'll go ahead and talk a little bit. I'm not gonna make Ellie sit there and hold a turkey who's resisting, but um, we can't keep more than one male turkey here without having at least 12 females. You know this story already? Yeah, like a six to one ratio of female to male. Okay, there's a six to one ratio, females to males, if, but there's an if, if you have more than one male. So what if you don't? If you don't, then you, one on one is fine. You, well, can, you can have one male and one female and they're fine. But if you introduce a second male, then all of a sudden they start competing over that. You so need like six so you need six for each male. And is that the craziest thing or what? Yeah. So that kind of tells you they're not really competing in fighting. They're competing for her in other ways. Like the number of mates. Yeah. And they would actually kill your female. if you, uh -huh. or, or females, plural, if you don't have enough. Uh -huh. And that's how the males compete in the turkey species. Whew. Look at the little snoot. It's like going up and down if you look closely. <laughs> so I'll be excited to hear what Paul Paul names him. And if Papa can kind of spend more time with him, more than what we did, uh -oh, oh, yeah. he's don't, scared. I scared him. Okay, I'm not going to hold you him, up. Don't get him to peck me. I'm not. He's not going to peck you. All right. So you want? Uh, can you drive by yourself, hey, or are you going to walk him up? I'll probably walk. Good. Him. Bye. All right. See you. Not telling you, but I'm telling him bye. Oh. Bye. All right. Bye, Ellie. <laughs> bye. Ellie. All right, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Um, the turkey's at Papa's house now. He has a good home a bunch of feathered friends so he'll be all right no doubt but if y'all have any insight as to what this gender might be then please let us know because we have no idea um i personally think it's a male but to be fair male turkeys gobble and female turkeys chirp and all that turkey has ever done is chirp it hasn't gobbled once in its life so that's pretty feminine and like the hunter said a turkey could have all the male characteristics in the world but then whenever he he cleaned it internally it had eggs inside of it so i guess you never really know but if there's any dead giveaways that exist that are a 100 percent telltale indicator then please let us know about that and maybe if it's a female it can come back someday <laughs> but who knows and yeah with that said hope you guys enjoyed be sure to let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you want to see hope you have a great day and as i always say your boy ellie out